In this video, I want to show you how to work backwards with the volume of a cylinder. So remember, volume of a cylinder relates to a prism, and the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. So for a cylinder specifically, we know that base is always going to be a circle, so we could also look at the formula pi r squared times h, where the pi r squared gives you the area of the circular base. So in this video, we'll look at questions that don't ask you to find the volume, but instead maybe ask you to find the height of the cylinder or the radius of the cylinder. So let's look at this first example. It says the area of the base of a cylinder is 150 square inches. If the volume of the cylinder is 1050 cubic inches, what is the height of the cylinder? So the very first thing you want to do is kind of go back through the problem and identify what you're given. So I know that the area of the base is the variable of that capital B. So what it's telling me is that B is 150. The next line says if the volume is 1050, so that tells me V is going to be 1050, what is the height of the cylinder? So in this question, I'm looking for H. So next I want to start with the formula, and formula for a cylinder is the area of the base times the height. Now since this problem is talking about the area of the base altogether, I'm going to keep that capital B there instead of replacing it with pi r squared. So from there, I'm going to start to plug in what I know. So I know that capital B is worth 150, and I know that my volume, or V, is 1050. And then what I'm looking for is H. So I start with my formula. I plug in values. From there, the next thing that you're going to do is take this as an equation and solve for H. So since those are being multiplied, what I would do to solve is to divide both sides by 150. So 1050 divided by 150 gets me a value of 7 would be my height. Let's look at our next example. So in this example, it says the volume of a cylinder is 942 cubic feet. If the height is 12 feet, what's the radius? So again, first thing I'm going to do is just figure out what I'm given. It talks about volume. So that tells me V is 942. Then it says the height is 12. And eventually I want to get what is the radius. Okay. So again, starting with the formula. And the formula for a cylinder is V equals the area of the base times the height. Now, since I'm specifically talking about the radius, I'm actually going to keep going with this and say that instead I want to use uh, pi r squared times h instead of capital B because I want the radius. All right, from there, uh, you're going to plug in your values, the ones that you're given. So if the volume is 942, I'm going to plug that in for v. Um, from there, I have pi, I'm going to use 3.14, and then radius, that's what I'm looking for. So right now I have to leave that as r, and then my height, I'm going to plug in a 12 for. Okay? Um, I eventually want to get r by itself, so you can kind of start by dividing whatever you want to do first. I'm going to get the pi out of the way, so dividing both sides by 3.14. So 942 divided by 3.14 gets me a nice 300. And that's equal to r squared times 12. So next, I'd want to get rid of that 12 by dividing both sides by 12. And that gets me 25 is equal to r squared. So to get r totally by itself, I would take the square root of both sides. And that tells me that my radius would be 5. So the difference between this one and the last one was since it was talking about the radius, I wanted to use this pi r squared instead of just the capital B just because it's a little more specific and allows me to really get down to what the radius is. 
So as a quick kind of summary for all of this, the very first thing you're gonna do is start with your formula. Now, if it's talking about the area of the base just in its entirety, you're gonna wanna use this one with the capital B. If it mentions anything about a radius, you're going to want to upgrade it to this one to be a little more specific. From there, you're gonna plug in the values that you know. Odds are you're gonna have something that tells you what the volume is, so plug that in. From there, you're either gonna be given the height or the radius or the area of the base, so plug those in as well. After that, you're gonna work backwards to solve, just like we've been doing with equations all year. Let me know if you have questions.